So whether you're in the air wing, whether you're ground side division, it's very important to know and to recognize the signs and symptoms of hypothermia and how to rescue yourself or your buddy when operating in those conditions. It's drastically changed my perception from uh, operating in cold weather environment. What's your unit? When I joined the Marine Corps, I was expecting to go someplace in a desert far, far away, you know, train or, or conduct operations from there. Never would I thought that I was going to end up in Norway above the Arctic Circle. So from Bridgeport, it's drastically different from there to operating in Norway. Bridgeport, the altitude's kind of your, your enemy and, and walking around and getting used to that altitude, but here it at least feels a lot colder and definitely a lot more mountainous. Being physically fit's definitely a big play into that. I think the exercise is really good because it gives the Marines a chance to get out and like do something while in a different country. Plus it gives you like real world experience. If this actually happens to someone, it doesn't just have to be with the Marine Corps. You can go out, be on a boat, someone fall in. But it also helps since we're out here doing a cold weather exercise.